Hey guys, welcome back to Bows Fan TV, and today we're doing a reaction to the news that Keith Long has been sacked as manager of Bows. Um, I couldn't say I was expecting it. Um, I think, you know, after the other night's game against Pats, I think they felt that maybe the right was on the wall. Uh, you know, the, the crowd reacted very negatively from the from the performance, which you know, obviously they didn't expect. You know, it was it wasn't a, it wasn't a good performance at all. Right there. Um. So yeah, it wasn't a, a good performance at all. We were beaten fairly comfortably in the end. Um. By Pats. Um. Three one and yeah, I think that was. I, I don't. I, I don't think people would have expected them to be sacked the next day. Um. <clears throat> Certainly felt, you know, walking out of the out of Daily Mount there on on Monday that even the biggest supporters of Keith Long were starting to kind of feel like this may be the end, you know, that this that maybe it is time for a change, and you know, I, I've kind of felt like that for for a little while now. Um, I don't think there's been the same sort of before a level of performance from the from the players uh, over the over the course of the season that we've seen in previous years. Obviously, you know we've we've lost a lot of key players. And, you know when I get that, that's that's um that's a valid argument when 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 it comes to this about Keith Long. That you know what what do you expect him to do when he's delivering his best players every season? But you know I think the nine we've we brought in nine new players in in the summer, and you know when that happens, you know that. That's not a good thing, really. You know that means that you're not you're not doing too well, and you know I thought it was bizarre to be honest when we when we did do that. Um, and um, I don't know. I think it, it's it's obviously a difficult one. You know, I think I personally think it's the right decision, but obviously like you know he's been here eight years. He's done a really good job. He's given us some great memories. You know those great nights we've had in Europe. And, you know, getting into Europe. Yeah, you know the. the 2019 campaign, you know, although we weren't in the stadium, and you know, I was, it was good to see how, how well the team were doing at times in the lockdown, and and you know, I think he when we when he came in, obviously we were in a we were we weren't in a good place, you know, we were still struggling financially, we were sort of narrowly avoiding relegation most seasons, and then obviously the expectations just kept on rising, you know, season after season, we were, we were overachieving nearly, and eventually that can catch up to a manager. Um, and it has for for for, for long in, in this instance, and you know obviously we I wish him all the best. You know he's he's been great for the club, but <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see what approach we take now. Um, you know will we go for someone who's maybe kind of young and up and coming like we did with Keith Long back in twenty fourteen when he was at Athlone? Will we go for someone with a bit more experience? I don't know. It, it it'll depend. Like I don't know. I think maybe it is time for someone to kind of come in with. <laughs> A little bit more experience. Um, there's managers over in England and, and abroad. That I'm sure would would be interesting. The job, you know, so it's a lot more kind of an appealing job than it was when Keith Long took it eight years ago. You know, when 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 Keith Long took it, we were the goal was just to stay up, really. But now, you know, we've we built our black our, kind of our brand so much now globally, selling jerseys and merchandise and stuff like that. You know, so obviously, you know. So it's it's gonna be a bit a much bigger job for for a manager, you know, now than it was eight years ago when, when Long took it. But I don't know. I don't. I don't really. I don't really know who I have in mind to, to be the replacement. It's obviously Trevor Crowley and Derek Pender are, are going to be in, in charge on an interim basis. They'll take they'll take charge of the, the Rovers game on on Friday. I don't really know. I, I'm a fan of Ian Ryan at Wexford, but again, is it probably too soon for him? I don't know. You know, there's there's managers abroad like like Paul Cook who's managed in the League of Ireland before. Um but you know, he's obviously at Chesterfield, he's under contract. Dave Rogers is managing uh, over in England, I, I can't remember which team he's at. I think he's he imagined in the Nottingham Forest and the under age team or something. Now again, he'd be he'd be someone who maybe could could be could be brought up in, in conversations. Um I'd be Trying to maybe stay a little, stay kind of well clear at Vinnie Perth and Liam Buckley, the likes of those. Um, I don't know. I think Vinnie Perth, obviously, I don't. He doesn't really come across as a kind of. I don't know. He did well at some dark. I, I, I think we can, we should stay kind of well clear at that. Liam Buckley, he plays good football, but I think his his time's kind of up now. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what 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 will happen next. I'm sure. 
but there'll be a lot of links, obviously, I'm sure. I mean, I'd be surprised if there, there wasn't a, a few managers at, at a decent level who would be interested in taking the job. Uh, you know, Jim Crawford's another name that I was going to mention. That that just escaped me mind. Um, again, he's under contract with Ireland with the Ireland under. He's manager at the Ireland under twenty ones. Obviously, it's a, it's a good job. Would he be willing to, to, to step away from that and, and come manage balls? I'm not I'm not too sure. Um, but you know, obviously the news kind of came about quite suddenly. Um, there were rumours kind of yesterday afternoon that maybe there had been discussions after the Pats game amongst the board about his view, about Keith's future. And obviously, when I seen it, I thought, well, maybe this is it, but you know, they might give him a little bit more time. They might give him the Rovers game on, on Friday and or see how that goes, or they might, they might just give him to the end of the season and then make a decision then. But obviously, within a couple of hours, it was confirmed that he'd been sacked, and obviously, that. Came as a bit of a surprise, um. But yeah, like I said at the start of the video, there was just a sense around the place on Monday. I felt that even the the biggest Keith Long supporters were starting to think, yeah, it's 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 probably time for a change. And it's sad that it's ended this way. You know, I, I would have liked it to kind of end it in a more positive way. Obviously, he's, he's contracted until the end of twenty twenty four, and you know, the the ideal scenario would have been that you know, we we would have won a cup or something like that, and. He had just left on his own accord and his contract ran out, but obviously it hasn't ended that way. And like I said, we wish him all the best. And you know, we'll, we'll see what kind of um kind of kind of direction the club goes in now in terms of who they bring in. You know, again, it, it's it's that kind of dilemma. He was is is it going to be like a more experienced manager, like a I don't know a Paul Cook or a Liam Buckley or something like that? Um. Or someone who's a bit more younger who has something to prove, like an Ian Ryan or something like that. Or even, you know, if, if Trevor Crowley does well, I know I think he's not really too keen on coming back into first team management, but if he can if he does well for on an interim basis or someone like Derek Pender, you know, knows the club club legend, you know, he'll be keen to take the job, mate, you know, I'm sure, you know, he's managed in in the under seventeens and that and done well. So, you know, it's be interesting to see what what option the club kind of takes and yeah it's all the best to keep really thanks for all the memories and yep yeah, that's where i'm gonna end the video make sure you like subscribe share comment down below your, your thoughts about the news uh which managers you'd like to replace uh, keith with and i'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.